More from Gas City. They are busy cleaning up after the storms. They are dealing with everything from downed power lines to damaged homes. Fox 55's Drew Fry continues our live team coverage. He is on the ground in Gas City near one of the wiped out homes. Drew? Yeah, and Beverly just mentioned it, over 140 mile an hour winds blowing through Gas City Friday night, and that obviously left a path of destruction. So right now I'm here in front of one of those Gas City homes, or I'm going to step out of the camera so you can get a better view into what we're looking at. Right here, you're looking at what used to be a garage, and just scanning it, I can see about three cars inside. Obviously, this one up front is what took a lot of the damage, and if you even scan back here as well, you can see into the backyard, this garage is just utterly destroyed. And then the home as well has plenty of damage to it as it came in through the garage. And I spoke through the I spoke to one of the homeowners who basically just described what he went through. And he said that he heard the warning and decided to get up and move over into the center of his house. And lucky enough, he did make that decision when he did because then his windows blew out. He was scraped up for gl from glass. But luckily, no other significant damages to him or, according to him, to anyone in this area. That is the key. I've heard multiple stories about people going through this area and just the damage that they have encountered. And everyone seems to have a silver lining that no one was hurt. One woman's house collapsed around her, but her friends say that it was almost like she had a protective bubble as she managed to escape without any significant injuries. And one other story that I want to take you through all centers around this car where I've, there's a lot of rubble over here, so I'm going to be careful as I step over. But the homeowner said they went out and saw all of this destroyed and saw there took a flashlight to really scan the area. But one particular animal managed to hide out in the car and survive the storm, and that was their three-legged cat who they'd become pretty fond of, who roams outdoors and was able to survive this EF3 tornado just by hiding out in this car. The car certainly took plenty of damage. The cat is okay, and certainly the big important story here is that everyone in this area I've talked to is healthy and okay from that storm. Now, power lines are still being worked on in this area, and I'll continue to scan the area and provide updates throughout the evening. Live in Gas City, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News.